Hey hey hey, Alias here. What you see now is a sneak preview on the intro I made for my next campaign on Tanoa. As you know it's uh, pretty difficult to make intros for Arma missions. More precise is uh, difficult to handle the camera. It takes a lot of testing to get the right angle, position, etc. So while uh, I was working on the intro for my next campaign, I came up with a system that makes the process easier and more intuitive. To show you how it works, I made a demo mission. You can find the link in the video description down below. Ok, now I'm going to show you how the intro script works. Let's say I've uh, set up the mission, I have a few vehicles placed, a, a moving vehicle, a flying helicopter, an APC and I'm going to enter the 3D editor and let's say that for the first shot I want the camera to fly over the base from north to south while looking at the top of the hill here. For this I, I need uh, an object uh, which will mark the initial position of the camera. I'm going to place a uh, an invisible helipad here. I'm going to adjust the altitude. I'm going to name this helipad as Cam1. Sorry. Okay. Uh, then I need another uh, helipad uh, to mark the destination for the camera. I'm going to place it here. Adjust uh, the altitude as say we go higher. Okay. I'm going to name it Cam2. And then I'm going to place here another object which will serve as target for the camera. And I'm going to name it Target1. Okay. Now, to see how it uh, looks, um, I'm going to start the scenario. I go to the intro SQF file and take this line. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to name this as uh, first shot. Uh, for the first position of the camera, I'm going to type Cam1. For destination, uh, Cam2. For the target, I'm going to type target 1. Duration, I want this shot to take uh, like uh, 9 seconds. Zoom level or uh, field of view, let's say I start at uh, point 3 and I'm going to end up at uh, point 1. Attached uh, is not the case, my camera is uh, flying so here will be false. As coordinates, I'm going to type 0. Ok, now let's see how it looks. The camera is flying. Looking at the uh, here. Okay, zooming and stop. Ok, let's say I'm uh, satisfied with uh, this first shot. I'm going to copy, paste it here. I need another line here to make sure the script is uh, executed. Wait until... OK. Uh, script done. Uh, first shot. OK. Now I go back to the editor. Uh, let's say I want the camera here looking at the flying helicopter. I'm going to place a helipad here. I'm going to name it Cam3. I need this helicopter to have a name. Okay, I'm going to name it Target2. Uh, and I'm going to start the scenario to test the shot. I'm just going to edit this line here, second shot, uh, here we're going to have the same value, uh, the camera will uh, not move, will be in the same place for the initial and uh, ending position. Uh, looking at the target 2, uh, how many seconds I want here, let's say I want 10 seconds. Uh, zoom level, 
let's say I want to start from 1 and end up with 5.5 4, 0, 0, ok, let's see how it works Yeah, um, let's say I want the camera to be higher a little bit uh, since we have the uh, add an uh, editor it will be very easy to adjust the position for the camera just uh, moving around this uh, object and change its uh, location and altitude until uh, I am pleased let's see again how it works now Okay, let's see I'm pleased about this uh, shot. I'm going to copy, uh, paste it here. I'm going to need the same line as I did before. Paste it here, script, second shot. Okay, for the third shot, I want the camera to be on the roof of this uh, vehicle. Looking at these two guys here while uh, the vehicle is moving inside the base. I go here in the editor. I'm going to name this uh, vehicle as Cam4. Uh, for the target, I'm going to place a helipad here. Name it Target 3. Okay. Uh, launch the game, uh, paste the line again, name it as third shot, for uh, first position we'll have cam 4, second the same, because it, it stays on top of the vehicle, target name is uh, 3, duration ok let's say we want here 15 seconds zoom level uh, we're going to have uh, one for both positions attached yes we need uh, here to have true as value now we need the coordinates uh, in relation with the vehicle of the camera uh, x will be 0 y will be let's say minus 6 and Z will be 3 and let's see how it works ok the vehicle is uh, moving camera is looking at the disguise at the gate passing by ok let's say I'm pleased about uh, the result I'm going to take this with copy, uh, paste it here, take this line, paste it here, rename this by the third shot and let's test the entire intro now. I'm going to take this line, restart the scenario, ok, paste it here and launch. Ok, the camera is flying over the base, looking at the top of the hill, we have the camera looking at the helicopter, ok, and the camera on top of the vehicle. If it's something I don't like about the shot, I can always go back in the editor. Ok, and adjust the timing, the position of the objects, let me see here, uh, the target, let's say I want to look uh, at the guard tower here instead of these two guys. Ok, it's about right, let's put it here. 
we can place a guy here, one of the guy here. Let's ungroup it first. Yeah. And position the guy inside the guard tower. Okay, let's play this scenario again. Launch. By the way, you can place this line inside your uh, init SQL file or you can place it inside the trigger that will uh, run right uh, at the beginning of the scenario. Uh, okay, start. Let's see. First shot. Second one. one is a bit late we can adjust uh, the duration for the first two shots or we can just move the vehicle uh, farther so it will take more time for it to reach the destination I hope this was helpful feel free to use the script as you see fit if you find the ways to improve it, it would be nice to let me know also, if you want uh, more, please comment or uh, subscribe. Happy editing and see you next time.